Hello, my students. We're talking today about assignment number 20, the buying a car project part two. You hopefully have finished buying a car project part one, which was the research. So if you have not, go ahead and stop this video now. Go back and finish your car research. You can't start this one until you've chosen one of the three vehicles and then you're ready to get started. So here we go. Um, what have I provided for you here in this bin? The first attachment is your actual template. And of course, you're free to make your own template if you don't want to use this as a base, or you're free to use a Canva or another, you know, not a Google slide, but some other form of presentation. But either way, most people just use this template slide and it's got some information here ready for you as a starting point. Secondly, I've attached some examples and the good old monthly payment formula for your reference, which reminds me that you're going to need some Desmos for this. So go ahead and open up a tab with Desmos right now so that you can get ready. And the more you screenshot in for me, the better for this slide. All right, let's go look at the examples I attached. So here's a fully completed, I just lied, slide. Hang on one second. Let me go copy and paste this in. Okay, so the top one is an example of a fully completed slide uh, that you would use for full credit. So let's look at what's on this slide. Notice that my price of the vehicle, that's the MSRP or invoice price right here at the top, that's the price you find on the website for the cost of the car. Then the tax rate we're using is the Oceanside tax rate of eight and a quarter percent. Show me what you're multiplying by 0.0825 and give me that tax amount. Then the total price of the vehicle being financed right here is how much it is when you add those two top numbers together. Then you go into Desmos and you do this work right here where you plug in that total price of the vehicle being financed and you use a rate for a used vehicle of 6.99, for a new vehicle of 3.96, unless you found a deal in your research on a new vehicle. Like they said, oh, your interest rate's gonna be 1.99 for 60 months if you buy this car. So otherwise I'm just giving you some base interest rates to use in your calculations. So using this Desmos, it showed me what my payment was for 17.77. The first thing I'm going to look at is your Desmos work and your payment to make sure they match. And then I'm going to look right here at your budget. Please, please, please make sure that your car is under your budget. I want to make sure you're not overspending. And then finally, the total paid for the vehicle is taking the price of the vehicle uh, monthly for $17.77 times the 60 month loan. That's your total paid. And over here is the interest taking that total paid and subtracting your original price of the vehicle. This is your interest paid. Notice I've got some features up here of the Honda Civic. Notice I've got the title of the car I'm buying, a 2020 Honda Civic hatchback, and I've got the link for where I found the vehicle. Okay, uh, that's it. That's the slide you're making me for today. Now, what's this second example? Here's a second example of someone who did a lot of great research, had all the information information correct, even gave me more Desmos work here on the side. But Ms. Sanchez is going to look right here at the price per month, what's your car payment, and your budget. And I see that this person just did a whole project on this beautiful Tesla, but the Tesla is over their budget. That gets you a zero points on this project please don't go over your budget for whatever your monthly budget is. And by the way, where did that budget come from? We did this at the top of our research where you go back, search in your drive for your career poster. Your career poster showed the income, your annual income, and then taking that annual income, we had to divide that by 12 and take 10% of that. So look what I put right here. I put that in my budget. My income divided by 12 was 77.33. 10% of that equaled 7.33. So please put that little budget there as a reference for you to make sure you're sticking under the budget. So even though Ms. Sanchez wanted a Tesla Model S, 
back to reality. Here's my actual vehicle right now, my my Honda Civic hatchback in dark gray. And I do love my car. Maybe not as much as I would love a Tesla, but this is my reality. Okay, you guys, so good luck making your slide. I cannot remind you enough. Don't start this slide until you finish your car research. You don't have to turn in this slide, this full project, this one slide is not due till tomorrow night. So you still have today and tomorrow to finish this slide. And the Desmos work screenshotted in, okay? Good luck. Have fun today. Bye.